now that we are through, in the next three weeks, I'm going through a series. Um, and this series, this is the last but one series for the end of the year. I'm doing, I'm doing this series, and this series is called, God Will Change My Story Into Good News. God will change my story into good news. I'm saying for the last time, God will change my story into good news. We have three weeks to go through this series. Then after that, um, they'll have the women's convention that will come off. And just after the women's convention, we'll have our last convention of the year. And that's the danger convention. It's called goodness convention. And that convention is where the last day we activate the clause in the Bible that says, whoever takes a pit in front of you will fall into their own pit, breaking of the bottles. Amen. And we prepare for the end of the year activities in Jesus' name. Say, God will change my story into good news. Amen. So let's go to a scripture, then we'll pray. Amen. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 7, verse of 7, uh, 36. Amen. Luke chapter 7, verse of 36. Amen. It says, now. Someone said, now. now. I've already uh, uh, explained to you that any time you read the Bible and you just go and meet now. It's not speaking about a past tense. It's not speaking about a story. It simply says, or it simply means, whatever happened there can happen in your day. According to normal English, when a story is being read, you're supposed to say, when, then, there. But the moment it says, now, and it's telling you about a story, but it goes on to say, now, that it means whatever happened there can happen in your days. Amen. Amen. So now, one of the Pharisees invited Jesus Christ to have dinner with him. So he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. When a woman who had lived a sinful life in that town learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster jar of perfume. And as she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them and poured perfume on them. When the Pharisees had invited him, so saw this the pharisee who had invited him saw this he said to himself if this man were a prophet he would have known who is touching him and what kind of woman she is that she is a sinner jesus answered simon and said simon i have something to tell you tell me teacher he said two men owed a certain money lender one of them owed 500 the other owned 50. neither of them had the money to pay him back so he canceled the debt which of them will love him more? Simon replied, I suppose the one who had the bigger debt cancel, you have judged correctly, Jesus Christ said. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I came into your house by you this man. You didn't give me any water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman, for the first time I entered, has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has put perfume on my feet. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins are forgiven. For she loved much, but he has, but he who has been forgiven little, but he who has been forgiven little loves little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. The other guests began to say among themselves, who is this? Who even forgives sins? Help me to speak to someone. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. My story. My story will change to my good news. Will change to my good news. You know, this particular story is one of the famous scriptures in the Bible that talks about just a woman who has lived a sinful life. And according to Bible commentators, they wanna, you understand that the woman that the Bible is talking about is called Mary Magdalene. Because when you go through the story, the same story, when it's being read in the book of John, it talks about Mary Magdalene. Because at that time, Mary Magdalene's brother by the name of Lazarus had died. And when he came back to life, the family organized a dinner for Jesus. But this particular translation, the book of Luke talks about just a woman who had gone to the house of a Pharisee. Then the Bible says, the Pharisee invited Jesus Christ for dinner. But this is the good news. The woman was, not, was never invited. 
But thank God for a God who knows how for us to break protocols. She was not invited, but she said, I'm not there. I'm not invited. But there's a man over there who can change my story. Uh -huh. So although they didn't invite me, I can break the protocols. I came to declare, Jesus. when God wants to change your story into good news, uh -huh. forget about what people will say about you. Uh -huh. Because listen, so long as you are in your mess, they will talk about you. Uh -huh. So so long as you're in your mess and they will talk about you, why don't you break a record and go and receive the goodness of God? Uh -huh. Because when you are struggling, they will gossip about you. Uh -huh. When things are not well, they will talk about you. Uh -huh. When you also become great today we'll talk about you then you better become great for them to talk about you uh. so she said i've lived a sinful life in the society everybody is talking about me but i was not invited the bible says and she found herself there and the moment she entered the bible said they started memory among themselves who is this woman hey you don't even know that. listen people always judge you by your past but they don't know your tomorrow because if they knew that this woman would be the first person in the whole world oh. who would be the first person to see Jesus mm -hmm. after Jesus Christ has resurrected from the dead they wouldn't have spoken about her when Jesus died and resurrected Jesus had many disciples that were ordained as apostles but these disciples they couldn't see Jesus Christ number one a woman who was called the sinful woman listen so before they try to put a trouble on you just tell them you don't know my tomorrow you don't know my tomorrow you don't know my future if you knew my future you'd have respected me the bible says and she has lived a sinful life but she said to herself my cases of the past i don't want it to become an issue of my destiny now the pharisee is sitting down there and the pharisees and the pharisees saying if this, if, if this Jesus was a prophet, he would have known which woman is this. But do you know something? The Pharisee is insulting Jesus, but he is the same one who invited Jesus. Mm. So in life, mm. so long as somebody is good to you today, does not mean they like you. Ah. Because the Pharisee is the one who brought Jesus and Jesus, come to my house and come and have dinner. Now, Jesus is eating and the woman enters and Jesus is helping the woman. And the same Pharisee is insulting Jesus. Be careful about the people who smile with you today. Because they're only smiling with you, but they don't want your best interest. So hear me, it's not every open door that is an opportunity. Some open doors are traps. It's not every invitation that you've got to honor. It's not every invitation you've got to honor. Some of them, listen to me, are traps just to break your life down. But I thank God that I serve a living God. I serve a living God who has a way to order my steps for myself to be at the right place at the right time to enjoy the goodness and the power of the living God. Say, oh God, honor my steps. Oh God, honor my steps. So a woman who has gone through all this and she said, I will just enter. And when I enter, whatever that I have in my hands, I will break it before Jesus. Because she knows that if I break anything in front of Jesus, I will get it back. Whatever that is destroyed when Jesus Christ enters, that is not the end of it. It prepares for restoration. Because the moment you see a corn, and you see the maize corn, the, the, the maize plant or the corn plant coming up, before you admire and become excited for the plant, you've got to know that a few weeks ago, the plant or the seed died on the ground. When the seed dies in the ground, everybody will just say, no way, no opportunity for the seed that has been dead. But listen to me. If it dies, just give it some small time. It will come back to life. Mm -hmm. Some people thought your life was down. Jesus. They thought that was the end of your life. Jesus. But I came to give you good news. Mm -hmm. God is about to change your story into good news. Jesus. It seems that it's time. And hear me, and hear me, and hear me, and hear me. Everybody here. From the time we were young to this particular time, I don't know about you, but I can boldly say for everybody here, we have never, we have never seen a corn or a tree that is growing before. Wait, when you put the corn on the ground, the whole day, just play around there, you never see anything. Just go and sleep and wake up, you see something. Listen, have you ever used your eyes to see a, a, a corn? Pa, pa, pa? Have you seen it before? No. Have you seen it before? It has never, nobody has seen it before. But when you wake up in the morning, not a 
but the time it was increasing in height nobody saw it yeah. so when god is blessed sometimes he blesses you in the dark yeah. but when people see you they see you shining ah. that's why people got to be very careful how they fight you Jesus. because in your darkness you are still growing Jesus. in your darkness god is still doing Jesus. something so big in your life Man. i've never have you seen it before oh. even how a flower just opens and best opens you can never but when, by the time you get there it has opened because some amazing things happen in the dark so in your dark moment of life don't kill yourself in your dark moment of life don't just say to yourself this is the end of my life it's god preparing something amazing for your destiny a woman a woman a woman a woman who has lived a sinful life and when she got over there she broke what she was carrying after, after she broke it down she was wiping the feet of jesus christ and the bible says they started insulting her go away why are you here and not only are they insulting her they are insulting jesus if this man was actually a prophet he would have known the type of woman that was touching him on your way to your destiny hear me be very careful about the people that will speak against you if nobody talk against you you are not doing anything good but when they speak against you and thank god with all these things that went on this is the biggest revelation can i tell you with all these issues and things that were going on insulting the woman and this woman is a sinful man this is the best thing i want everybody to hear in the last few minutes the bible they never told us the woman responded to them she was busy focusing cleaning the feet of jesus if you want to experience the grace of god focus on the dream focus at the end point focus on the destination Jesus. focus on what god has oh. tell somebody focus 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 when she was busy using the perfume on the feet and they were talking what kind of man is this what woman is this this um, the woman never responded she had a target and jesus said what this woman has done forever and ever it will be mentioned everywhere and fast forward, Jesus is dead, being crucified. And look, and look at how Jesus Christ died. They crucified him. He died. He resurrected. Crucified him in the afternoon. They buried him in the evening. Resurrected in the morning. I'm saying it one more time. Crucified him, died in the afternoon. They buried him around 6 p.m. in the evening. Woke up in the morning. Evening time is when they were burying him. But if they don't bury him in the evening, you will never see something good in the morning. So your pain is for the evening. But the Bible says, although we pain may endure for a night, but my joy comes. My joy comes. My joy comes. My joy comes. My joy comes in the morning. But before my joy will come in the morning, I wept in the night. So if you see me, jumping in the morning don't be jealous of me because in the night you don't know how i cried most of you how god has blessed you if you want to tell people of your testimony they might think you are making it up because you don't look like what you have ever been through but god himself showed himself strong in your destiny some of you how you actually survived still people don't understand because how they calculated life for you they thought by now should have been six foot under but when they saw you, they saw you shining and God elevated your life. Amen. And this is the good news. If God elevated you the last time, God will do it the next time because his mighty hand, Amen. his mighty grace is so over your life and over your destiny. Amen. If you are here and you have ever been through in life, but you know that if all the things you've been through, God showed himself so strong in your destiny. Amen. In the face of somebody say, my neighbor, my neighbor, I've been through, 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 I've been through. I've been through. And now when he resurrected this is the good news the bible says the disciples are all running all of them are rushing just to make sure they go and see the resurrected jesus but all of them when they got there they couldn't but a woman who yesterday was called a sinful woman and today she is the first the whole world the first person to see jesus 
But yesterday they were calling her a sinful woman. Don't let what people say about you determine your destiny. What they say about you is only a reflection of their mind. It's not how God sees you. Wow. God, you First person to see the resurrected Jesus. And now she is the one. Look at it right now. Now she is the one running to tell the disciples, I have seen Jesus. Hey! You, you told me I was nobody. But right now, the information you need, I carry the information. Mm. Which means those who run away from you, very soon, they are going to need you. you are going, uh, they are going to need you. They are going to need you. Need those us. who told you are not important, very soon, they are going to need you. Mary Magdalene is the one. And the, and, the, and, the, and the angel, Jesus Christ even told her, when you go, go and tell my disciples, they should meet me somewhere. So whatever they want to see, Mary Magdalene was the one who carried the information. But yesterday, she was called a sinful woman. What name have they put on you? What name has life put on you? Sometimes they can put the name of sickness on you and you think, that's the end of your life. But this is the good news. It's not your end. Amen. If that was not the end of Mary Magdalene, it will never be your end. Amen. Listen to me. In these next three weeks, I came to give you one good news. Jesus. God will change your story Amen. into Good news. Amen. Clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Oh, can you clap your hands and bless God? Now, now this is the second thing. Now, on your way to God changing your story into good news, you're supposed to understand that battles will show up. But there's one thing I've learned and I've studied about God. Sometimes he doesn't stop the battle. Do I have a witness over here? Yes. No, no, let's be real. Sometimes it doesn't stop the battle. But this is it. He doesn't stop the battle, but he will make sure that the battle, but the battle doesn't kill me. Mm. And sometimes he doesn't stop the battle, but he will make sure that the one who brought the battle to me, that wants me to die, will rather go and die before me. Mm. So sometimes the battle that is coming my way is just a trap to trap my enemy. Psalm 57 verse 6, that will be my last test that we'll pray. Look at it now. Psalm 57 verse number 6. They spread a net for my feet. I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path. But they have fallen into it themselves. Wait, 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 wait. My question is, God, when they were digging the pit, why didn't you stop them? Can I continue again? Yes. God, you saw that they were digging the pit and you stood there for them to dig the pit. And I said, uh, and God said, Daniel, I was not just wicked to stop them, not to stop them from digging the pit, but I wanted the team pit to trap them. So they have fallen into it. If there's anybody here that is in any tra any, any trap, Jesus. any pit has been dug in front of you. Jesus. From next week, Jesus. from tomorrow, Jesus. from next month, Jesus. from next year, Jesus. any pit in front of you, Jesus. whoever endures that dug it by the power of God, Jesus. may they fall into it themselves Amen. by the power of the living God. It's a fire. Fire. Now let's all read together. Let's go. They spread a net on my feet. I was bowed down in distress. Yes. They dug a pit in my path. Look at the play of words over there. The first one is a net. And the second one is a pit. Do you know the reason why? Because before you can put somebody in the pit, you have to capture them in a net. Before somebody dies, there is always the root cause of the death. So it can be a, a net of sickness. So the sickness will capture you and places you into the death of the pit. So it was a net and turned into a pit. But today I came for two things. Jesus. In the net, sometimes it can be a net. Hear me? It can be a net of poverty. When you are in the net of poverty, oh, you are wish ya in jail. Because it's a net. He says, no matter the net, 
no matter the pet. But do you know the good news? When the Bible was talking about how God will return the whole thing to the sender, he never said that they will go into the net. He said they will go into the pet themselves, which means he doesn't have to waste time in putting in them the net. He will make sure they fall and never rise up again. Amen. And then net in front of your children. Jesus. And then net in front of your life. Jesus. And then net in front of your business. Jesus. And then net in front of your life. Jesus. By the hand of God, I cover that net. Amen. I reject that net. Amen. And I stop that pit. Amen. But the message of God Amen. Say I break the net. I break the net. I cover the pit. I cover the pit. Now I prophesy. It says by day, they have fallen into it themselves. Now I have one question for you. Do you know the next question? Who are the day? Now this is my last question for you. It says they have spread. They have the question is the the day they know a yawa mwa today and sometimes it will surprise you that the day is talking about those days some of them are very close to you it will surprise you some of the day are the ones you just gave money to them yesterday and some of the day are the ones that when you had your good news they were the first group of people you called I have to ask you one question who are the day but this is my good news to you. I don't care about who they are. But the Bible says the, the, the same day will fall into the pits. So anybody who is part of the day, Jesus. whether you are my mother, my father, my Jesus. sister, my brother, my neighbor, Jesus. my family member, my helper, whoever has become part of the day, Jesus. let the word of God be confirmed by this particular scripture Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shall pray. pray. Be on your feet. God will change my story into good news. For the next three weeks, that's what we are dealing with. And from Sunday, I will show you another side, an, an, another area that when God has to let you enter into your place of good news, a kind of prayer you need to pray about. And I'll let you know. Lift up your right hand. You're about to lift up three prayers before God. We come here on Tuesday morning just because of one thing. We come here to engage the power of prayer. For us to speak to God and God himself speaks to us. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break the protocol. I break the protocol. Now open your eyes and listen. Jesus. Do you know that in that party, nobody invited Mary Magdalene. Nobody invited her. But she entered. When she entered, she said, hey, how, how is she here? A sinful woman. Why is she here? Nobody invited her. But she found herself there. We're about to lift up one prayer. Jesus. In it, in the restriction. Jesus. Sometimes you want to enter somewhere, but there is a restriction. The kind of life you want to enjoy, sometimes there is a restriction. Nobody invited her, but she entered over there. Today, any spiritual barrier, Jesus. any spiritual border, Jesus. any spiritual immigration officer Jesus. that is trying to stop you, Jesus. today we break the record we enter. Amen. South, I break the record. I break the record. I break the protocol. I break the protocol. I enter. I enter. My destiny. My destiny. Clap your hands and pray now. Enter into your destiny. Enter into your destiny. Break the protocol. Break the protocol. This is the time.
So let's see something. Please come and help somebody. Come and help me. Let's see the meaning of restrictions. Yeah, another person. Come and what a restriction is all about. Give me the test. Give me the test. Luke 7 36. Yeah. Look, look, look at it. I, I, I've already explained to you. Anytime you see the word now, it doesn't mean that the thing is for the past. It's still for you today. Now, one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him. Uh, and he went there and Pharisees house and reclined at the table. Jesus is sitting down. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. When a sinful man who had lived a sinful life in that town learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisees house, she brought an alabata perfume. Okay. So, check, check, check the first 36. What oh, the 36 says? The 36 says, and Jesus was invited. Was Mary Madeline invited? No. Oh. So, the dinner is going on over here. You to come. You are Jesus. Get me a lady. Get me any lady over here. A lady, come. Jesus. So the dinner is here. The food is here. Dinner is here. And Jesus is invited. Other translations say Jesus Christ went with the disciples. So because Jesus is invited, the moment he gets over there, they will open the door for him and he will enter. But this woman was not invited. And there is a restriction. But the Bible says she entered. Okay, okay. So, um, this simply means because Jesus Christ was invited, the moment Jesus Christ got there, they opened way for Jesus. Perfect. And Jesus entered. Now, before this woman was not invited, she wanted to get where Jesus is. But there is a restriction. So, she knows that the moment she meets Jesus, her story will change. When she meets Jesus, she will be another woman, but there is a restriction. So if she sees the restriction and sees Jesus, she has to think, how do I do the restriction in order to get Jesus? And when she tells the gate men to open, they will not open. So once she got to this, and when she gets over there, she's got to break it herself, enter by the power of God. Jesus. To get any restriction in front of your destiny, anything that have restricted you, to be, listen, we come to break up Amen. that border in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any restriction. Any restriction. No, no, no. Hey, listen, I'm making a declaration. Any restriction in front of the marriage of your children, in front of the marriage of your family, Jesus. in front of the success of your destiny. Jesus. Sometimes, hear me, your healing, sometimes your healing you are looking for is here because any, anytime you see Jesus, Jesus is your miracle. When there's an author you are looking for is with. Jesus. But you are sick. You know healing is here. But the devil has made everything possible for you not to be healed. You just declare that anything stopping my healing by the hand of God, Jesus. I break it by fire. Amen. I enter into my healing Amen. by the message of God. Amen. Lift up your hands. Any barrier, Jesus. Any border, Jesus. And hear me. These people standing there, they are called spiritual immigration officers. They are the ones checking whether you enter or not. But my mother said, I don't care. I have my perfume. Today, if I don't meet Jesus, I will not leave. Some of you listen to me. All the year, the whole year, you have been to church. At least four churches. Nothing is happening today. Say, God, Jesus. If, if God, you don't visit me, I'm not leaving. You come here, you hear crazy testimonies. You say, when is my own coming? Today, Jesus. We didn't come here to do. Lift up your hands. Say wherever, wherever I need to enter. I need to enter wherever, wherever my testimony, my testimony is located. Is located. I pick it by fire. I pick, I pick it, it by fire. fire. I take it now. I take it now. Wherever, wherever my good news, my good news is located. Is located. Come to me now. Come to me now. Any restriction. Any restriction. Any restriction. Any restriction. Any immigration officer, any immigration officer in, front of in front of my destiny. I crush you. I, crush you. I block you. I block you. Clap your hands and pray <laughs> now by fire. Clap your hands and pray. Now by fire, Somebody pray. Somebody pray. 
Testimonies is because one testimony was shut off everybody's mouth. I said one testimony will let your enemies come to you and say, "Hey, you are dangerous." Jesus. I'm not saying the truth. Yes. One testimony. You're about to tell that God. That testimony that has to happen for me. Jesus. One young guy. Where's for cuckoo board? Came to me. I said, young man, how long have you been there for? For some time. I said, your promotion is there a long time. Why? I said, prophet, I've not been promoted before. Other people come in. I said, my brother, you were promoted two years ago. He looked at me like, he said, prophet, no, I'm not promoted. I said, listen to me. You were promoted two years ago. He said, prophet, they have not. I said, you were promoted two years ago. He's at their station at Western. And I told him, you've been promoted. Then the guy said, Prophet, because of you have told me, I will come to Accra. Because uh, uh, he used to be in Accra, and they, they took him over there. So he was in service, and I gave him this prophecy. He came to Accra, went to the HR, and told the HR, I'm come to pick for my, I'm come to pick my promotion. The HR said, have you called you? The, uh, the guy said, no. My promotion is here. Then he said, no, no, no. If we don't call you to come, who told you? He said, no, 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 no. Check. The child says, go, you come back and, uh, and maybe tomorrow and check. They went through the whole thing. Promotion two years ago. Promotion. And hear me? The name and the person who has sat on the promotion carried the same name as the guy. Do you remember? He said, he said how did you know? He said, because my prophet told me I've been promoted two years ago. Check, some of you, your miracle is that somebody is sitting on it. Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Say, whatever. Whatever. Whoever. Whoever. Is sitting. Is sitting. On my promotion. On my promotion. On my destiny. On my destiny. Get away. Get away. Get away. Say my good news. My good news. Whoever is sitting on. Whoever is sitting on. Get away. Get away. I pick my good news. I pick my good news. I pick my testimony. I pick my testimony. Church of God, we are in the testimony city today. Today we have open heavens. 
anything that is yours. Jesus. You are picking it up right now. Amen. The miracle that has to happen for your children. What has to happen for your health? What has to happen for you? Receive it right now by authority. I receive, so I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. So I receive my good news. I receive my good news. Love and receive it now. Love and receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. say you say a big amen. amen something is about to hit your life from the altar amen. i said something is about to hit your life from the altar amen. i said something is about to hit your life from the altar amen. may god change your story into good news amen. i can't feel the vibration i said may god change your story into good news amen. the one who said the amen for the last will be the first to receive it amen. may god change your story into good news May God elevate you. May your testimony be unfolded by the blessings of the living God. Amen. 
listen. There's a brother who came from America to this church. He came to live in Ghana for over some time. Auntie Pamela, how long did he live in Ghana for Aaron? How long? Because of the case. For, for six years. He had lived in America for how long? 22 years. But he came to be stuck in Ghana for some time. Many, uh, how many years? Six years. Stuck in Ghana. Why? He had a big case in America that was connected to child support. And he, he had been reported that the moment he gets to the airport, they will arrest him. So he's afraid to enter into America. He came to church one day because of prophecy like the way we do it. Prayed for him and everything was revealed. We prayed for him. He said, man of God, I've lived there 22 years. And the children are there, right? But he can't go. And, when he, and the lawyer have, his lawyer even told that when you come, they will arrest you. Because they fought on child support and the other lady did a lot of stuff. I look at him and I said, man, man I see you in America. He said, prophet, I don't think so. I said, I see you in America. Even his passport had expired a whole lot of things. Prayed for him, he renewed everything. The day for him to go to America. When everybody is going to a bridge in Yaji, when he went to the airport on the Yemsi The moment he got over there, immigration held him. He said, Do you know that you have this on your record? Why are you here? He said, This one, not less than 10 years. Do you know that? Supposed to be jailed for less, not less than 10 years. He said, when he sat down, and when he came, um, he took a handkerchief from the altar. He sat down, he said, let the altar of testimony city speak for me. Yeah. Then they started calling police. The police that they are supposed to call for him, they were not answering the call. Called him second time, police not answering. Those were supposed to handle the case. The officer looked at him and said, you're supposed to be arrested and put behind jail. But whoever, whoever we are calling is not coming. You can go. Oh, oh, look at the way. It's Auntie Pamela's cousin. Auntie Pamela, your cousin. Yeah. Listen to me. He sent a testimony, long testimony. You may see on your audio because testimony on your case. You can't say it. You can it's a long testimony. Give the microphone. Give her the microphone. Papa, he said when he got there, they detained him. Yeah. So for about one hour. One hour. They were going up and down. Up, up and, and down, down, up and down, checking everything up and down. Then they called the, he was supposed to be arrested at New York. That's right. And so the police people were supposed to come for him. Uh, Auntie, come here. Then they and, said. And, and hold the microphone for her so that it will be very, very and, easy for the then testimony. They said they called. New York said they were not having a car. So when they call New York to come and pick him, New York said they don't have a police car to come and pick him. Jesus Christ. And then he did Ah, free police say Omra me foul. Ya free police say Omra foul. Police force say we can't get a car from New York to come to New Jersey. Hey, say all the people who are here who ran down the branch. I declare by fire. Anti twaso twaso. So no car, no car for one now. He said, nah, I want to America. Yeah. But on a chrome worker. Yeah. Yeah. But America must say you're brilliant to me, ma. So be with the one here. No matter the attack. Jesus. And by this altar. Oh. And by this altar. Jesus. And you are saving another also. God is delivering your life. Amen. By this altar. May God change your story. So it's a fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it flow. So when he went to American Embassy, they said, you know you have an arrest on you. They're supposed to arrest you. So he said immediately, he just went home. Yeah. So when he came here, he said, I said you go. So one day he was bored, then he filled their forms and everything. In, then his, uh, um, he took his passport. They didn't say anything. In, instead of, I think, five years, they gave him 10 years. Wow. We knew that. Uh, okay. And, and he said the passport, normally it's supposed to be 20 years something his was 58 pages so he was like ah, how come everything is different for him different then the day came his, his lawyer was supposed to meet him blah 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 then later on when he went to the airport fast forward they said no car so we are giving you a, a location form to fill go to your house 
Oh, look at the way you are clapping. I said, look at the way you are clapping. And you, 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 you also told me that a particular lawyer when I was supposed to do something resigned. Then another. His testimony is very, very long. His lawyer died. Uh huh. Ah, who knows why? Who? Oh, you know. Oh, you are the wife. And your bra. Bra. Uh huh. Oh, look at the way you are swung. We can be chantra. We say we can be chantra. Church. So a lawyer that was supposed to also do the thing also died. What are two anos? So 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 and then. Uh huh. Se be ya nyame nyu nyambe de di nti. Na nyame nyame pese ye hu se onu ye nyame nti. Eh eh odru ho no. Na wo se nka lawyer no kra na be je no. Eh eh de ne call police station to to like omo call court straight. Baba when you got there his lawyer was dead. Yes. Ye dru ho no mo e ba na critical na ye nya ka ni ade ade na ne hwan na o lawyer. Ye free lawyer so I say o da emergency corona. So 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 if you can see Attack be block what they know, but now all the people say they're bad here. Hey, lawyer or no lawyer, you have to answer. Listen, it's God because if the lawyer had come, we would have said that it's the lawyer that did the job, but the lawyer was dead. Let me out of my BIA fine. BIA fine by the grace of God. What if he is here? BIA cost what? Hey, church, woba ha ti, woba ha ne kato se nyango pombe ya kwada nyame baye dey obeye. It was I will let him do video because test no a door so. Let the boss say child support no ome chum. And this is over hundred thousands of dollars so. I must see ome chum. Ah, listen to me. And there was another case in Swahili. Katem said, now he had to apply for some licenses or something. Then the person at the immigration said that I'm not supposed to do this. I want to apply it for you. Yeah. I'm not apply for him for. <laughs> hey, genya mi ayama we mono. Eradin so enya mamu. Tuaso. Kuko US mene na mana yechi yai. Na o yusu obika sen bakwa kani divi. Say a fake DV. Imagine US. Oh, America. Oh, offer. So, how do you know? And I hear you know, I say you're pulling. Meaning, no, you're home because on a reason or so. Eh, a pen, I just say, and go free or more, but put it, car, but be brave. And I, you bet you, yeah. Told you, my sister, I need you, me, co prison. Maybe you call your hair, you're coming to me, you're missing. Be ye. Hey, Wana, please, for the bar. Yes, oh, can't get to me, Shannon, India. Blah, 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 or Mamo, a DB. And no more, more fake um, social security. Because somebody will pop up, even with arrest. I found it to me, sir. I'm almost okay. You took a can of coffee. Yeah, yeah, coffee. Papa, you're one of the count of um, court a year now or something about seven. Be brave, just say, if you come out or say, okay, then because we should fake mm. license. Now, Papa, you know, you put your order, you know what, 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 that I'm not about Ghana. So, I don't think I can say, Tell it, men go court. Catch on, so you are into open zoom. Into zoom, no. Ah, you count me now. Fed your count me. You need a fed your man one count. Pay three hundred dollars and go. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, today I prophesy. Miss it today, I prophesy. And what did you quack a silly mouth? God bless you. Lift up your hands. Church, Oh, you aiming suffering from diabetes. Amen. Oh, you are change your story. Amen. Case are too difficult, no? Jesus. That's the one God loves to work on. Jesus. The case that everyone said this one, Koda Enyeye. Because Bibi Atiko enye ye, that's the case God shows up and works a miracle. Unim, a de biara a ye deadlock. A de biara a ye case biara. If they call New York and New York said they don't have police car, I'm saying we are so busy we don't have a police car. Mako New Jersey too busy police car. 
Because the, the, the guy, your guy said they don't have any police car, so go home. Because he had arrest on him to be arrested and detained for 10 years. Because I said, the prophet, we all tell you, I'm one a jail, I'm not a casa. I'm saying, me, I'll never speak to you from jail. I'll never speak to you from jail. Because this altar carries power. Tell it, altar will pull. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, baby, we're done with stone, you know. Mom would do a rad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City, and the Testimony City, Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our brokers and become a blessing because the brokers blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the world that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen, testimony, I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen, I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed. Your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life in Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you. Power of Worship International, the Testimony City, and the Testimony City, Power of Worship International. I believe every day you come on our brokers and become a blessing because the brokers blesses you. Now this is our time of giving. Your giving changes your life and changes your destiny. For God so loved the world that he gave. The first one to give was God. How much more you and I. I want to personally advise you and urge you. Every giving information you need is on the screen now. Go and give. And after you give, just type on the screen, testimony, I have given. Testimony, I have given. Or you can type on the screen, I receive my testimony. The platforms are there. It will be a blessing to you. Jesus will change your destiny. A young boy, he gave his lunch of bread that were five and the fish were two. Guess what happened? It multiplied. If the boy had not given that miracle had not happened. What you are looking for needs to come from giving. May God bless you even as you give in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you. May your job be blessed. Your business be blessed. Those who owe you will pay. If you owe, it will be paid for in Jesus' name. God will multiply you. And I declare, nobody will use money against you. No evil money will be paid on an evil altar to disturb your life in Jesus' name. I want to personally let you know. Thank you very much for giving. Give. Nothing is too small for God. Give. After you give, type on the screen. I receive my testimony. I receive my testimony. Thank you very much for giving. May God honor you. May God bless you. May God multiply you for your giving in Jesus' name. You have given and God will surprise you. Thank you very much for giving. I love you. Thank you for giving. Thank you.